Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Boston Terrier on the Rainbow Loom. Here is a side profile of him with his snout coming out and his beautiful big ears. And I use beads, the E beads for these eyes. I really like how the beads show because they're shiny compared to the bands. And I added a tail to this one, but I know the species, the breed has a docked tail. So I made another one with a docked tail. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make the tail if you want to add a tail and the docked tail if you want to keep it docked. Also in this one, I used bands for the eyes and you can see the eyes kind of mesh with the black on the outside. So I highly recommend using beads, but if you don't use that beads, you can use the, um, the bands. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use the bands. So two different ways and they both came out super cute and we can get started. You need a single loom, you need black and white, and they also come in a caramel color or brown so you can substitute black for the brown and we're going to start with the head first. Okay, We're going to be using double bands so first we'll do a double white from this pin to this pin, and then another double white. This is the middle of the head, and now we're going to go black on the sides. So double black, and we're doing three stitches of black. Okay, so that's one side. And then we're going to go on the other side. One, two, and three. If you hear the chirping, that's lovely, the lovebird. I'm so sorry. He's singing today. So um, now we're going to go another white, double white. And then we're going to do a white connecting these pins. So, double white and double white. Okay, now we're working on the neck and you need a triple white band. So three, I'm going to place that right there. Then you need, I'm going to make white in the front of the dog and then black body so you need a double white going from this pin to this pin then another double white for the shoulders Oops. and then we're going to do another double white just like that and here also, so this is a triple and then these are all doubles. Now we're going to work on the black part of the body and we're going to go in the middle, go three stitches down. So these are doubles also. So one, two, and three. Okay, now we're going to work on the side of the body, which are also black doubles and then we're going to connect this pin to this pin and we're working on the left side of the body now okay so that's the body now we're going to work on the legs and I have white in the front and with black little claws I put you can put white if you want or whatever color you want for this but I like I think the black looks really cute and then I actually have it like like a paw so it can stand so it's gonna be a couple stitches long so one two three four stitches long so take a black Wrap it around the hook four times. So one, two, three, four. 
Then take a double white, and this is like your little paw. Place the black in the middle, place the white back on the hook. Then you take another double white, so that's two stitches. Okay, then another double for three stitches. And finally, the fourth, which is a double white. Okay, so that's one leg, and we're going to place it right here on that pin. Okay, let's make another one. So black again. One, two, three, four. Then four of these double whites connected. So you place the black on there. Okay, number two. Three. And four. Okay, we're going to place that right here. Bring that to the side, and now the hind legs. So that looks even. We're going to do black for this, for the whole back of the hind legs, or you can do whatever color you like, but it's going to look like this one. So, little claws, one, two, three, and four. And this is going to be three double stitches. So here's one. two, and three. Now the hind legs, I make them a little different. I make them thicker. So I'm going to take a triple band, so three, place it on the hook, place that, keep it like that, keep it in the middle like that, and then place it on your loom. So one, two. We're going to place one side on this pin and the other one on this pin. So it makes a little thigh area. Now we'll go to the next leg. One, two, three, four. Take a double. It's in the middle. Put it back on the hook. Another double. another double, and then we get to the triple now. So three bands, and then place it on these two pins. And bring it over. Now the tail. These uh, Breed is docked, so I just did a simple capping band for this one. But if you want to add a tail, it's very simple. I'm going to show you how to make the tail right now and you use it as a capping band. If you want to, you know, just watch the video, it's only going to take a couple seconds, or you can just fast forward until the other, the docked tail. But I'm not going to make a tail on this one, I'm going to use a docked one. But if you want to make a tail, it is one single, wrap three times around. And it's going to be one, two, three, four stitches long of doubles. So here's one, two, three, and number four. So I think that would be a cute little tail if you wanted one. It's the same as that. And then you place it right here as your capping band. Okay, but I'm going to do the docked one right now. And you just take a double and you put it on this, wrap it twice around. So here's one, twist, and two. Okay, so one, twist, and two. That's two times around. 
Now we're going to have fun with the eyes. As before, the eyes, I like the beads. You can use e-beads or little mini beads for the eyes. I'm going to use the bands right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a double, wrap it around, wait, no, just a single, sorry. I need two for the eyes. So a single, wrap it around four times. So one, two, three, and four. That's one eye. Another way to make the eye, you can do another eye like that, or you can do a little twist like a figure eight, then grab that and wrap that around. That's the same thing as this. So then you take a black band and then place the eyes on the black band. Just like that. And then we're going to place these eyes on these two pins and it's going to go up and over this one and connect back here. I like the other, the little figure eight eye a little bit better because it stays more together, like a ball. Sometimes these, the wrap bands kind of stretch out a little bit and you just have to fix it. So now we're going to, I made a new technique to make the muzzle of this dog. And I really like how it came out and it makes it come out a little bit more further for a 3D effect. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. This one's a little thicker than this one, and I like the thicker band, the thicker um, muzzle better than the thinner one. So I'll show you that right now. You will need a single black for the nose. So one, wrapped four times around. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go slower for this step because it's a different technique that I thought of. You're going to need five bands of white. Okay, so here's your five and we're going to place it on the hook. Make sure it's flat on your finger and not um, bumpy or anything. And then you're going to place your nose right in the middle of those bands. Okay, you can take it off the hook. Place it right in the middle so it looks like a little bow. Now, what I want to do is take the top band. Here's my top band. Pay close attention. Make sure you have that single band. You're not touching like one band over here and it's going to all fall apart. It's just that one top band. We're going to place that on this pin and this pin. So. Place it just like that. Okay, so it looks like that. So it's one, two, the second pin. Now we're going to take another white band. And the reason why I want this to be straight and all the same and not mangled up, I'm going to place my hook right through these bands. Make sure you get all of them. So I have one, and then I'm going to go right through again, all of these bands. Take your time. I'm going to try to go as slow as I can so you guys get it. Okay, so it looks like this now. I'll bring it closer. You see how that looks? Now we're going to take this single white. We're going to place it on the hook and bring it through these bands. Okay, and then we're going to anchor it on this pin on the bottom. Anchor the other one on this pin. Now bring this apart because now it's on top of a pin and bring it on top. 
Okay, and that is your muzzle. And I'll show you how to loom this to make sure that it pops out of the head. But this is what it looks like. So make sure yours looks like this. I'm going to show you right under my hand so it's a little easier and more clear. So we have this anchored through the nose to these two pins. Then I brought a band through these and anchored them here. Okay, pretty easy. You'll, you get it. It's, it's, it gets easier. So now we're going to make the ears and then, oh, let me first show you how to do the structural bands. They're going to be single black and like a triangle right there. Single black and another single black. So three single black triangles. Now the ears, I'm going to make it exactly like um, the Chihuahua ears. It's going to be a single wrapped four times around the hook, put it to the side, take another single black, one, four times around the hook again. Then I want these ears to be thicker and I tried them with a double band and I didn't like how it looked so I'm going to use a triple band to make it a little thicker. Make sure they're flat on the finger, just like that. Then you take the single bands, bring it to the side, bring it to the side, and I'll show you how to maneuver the bands at the end, how to make it pointy. Bring that back on the hook, so it looks like that. Then you take another single, twist it upon itself, and then place that on the single twist. Place it back on the hook, so it looks like this. And then you can actually separate this too. You can separate this now, put each band on the side, so it looks like that. And you can do it later on the dog. So push these bands down, place the single twist on that pin. I want to bring this up as far up as we can go. Then we're going to make another ear. So I need two bands, one wrapped four times around, one, two, three, and four. Another one, four times around, triple band, so three, make sure it's flat on the finger, bring it to the side, bring this to the other side, put it back on the hook, and separate them too, just like that. Take a single twist, single, twist, place it on the hook, bring that ear on that single twist, then bring it back on the hook, place it right here. Okay, make it go up. This is what your dog should look like. Make sure he looks like this. We'll bring it closer, you can see it better and we can start looming. My top band is this guy right here. So I'm going to go underneath that capping band, grab that two left bands, bring it on that pin. Now my other top band is right here, so I'm going to grab this one. Bring it to the right, and then I'm going to grab this middle one. And that is my docked tail. Now I'm going to just loom all the way up to this pin for the middle. Okay, now I'm going to loom the side. I am not grabbing any of this leg area, I'm just grabbing the bottom bands. All the way down, grab that bottom. I 
going just a loom forward. Now I'm on the white section. I'm just grabbing the bottom bands and I'm going to loom it to the neck right there. Same here, just the bottom. Loom forward. Bottom white. And back to the neck. So now I'm going to grab this triple white that's on the bottom of this. All the way at the bottom. Loosen these bands up. Okay, so now my next band is this guy right here. I'm gonna grab one of those. Then my next is here. And then now we're going to work on the middle. I'm going to bring this forward onto this pin. Then I'm going to take this little muzzle area up and put it on top. So I'm going to go really slow with this one. Just place it on the pin. Just like that. Now you can hold this band down so it doesn't come off. Bring that nose up. Oops, I came off. Oh no. Let me grab it. It's good that it happened, because if it happened to you, then at least you know how to fix it. I'm going to grab this guy that got off, bring it back underneath, put it back on there. Okay, push those bands down. Now I'm going to grab this and just bring it up on top of the pin. So now it's on the front. Bring it down. So do you see what I just did? I loomed this, then I brought this little nose over on top. Now I'm going to go behind the nose, grab that white band right here. and loom forward. I'm going to just stop right there. So that is the only difficult part of the whole looming. So I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to loom the black part on the side of the head. So it's thick over here because of the bands. I'm just grabbing the bottom. Make sure my ear is straight up. Now I'm going to go to the left side. Grab that bottom. Okay, so now I have this white. I'm going to bring that on top of the black. Now, depending on your um, what your dog you want your dog to be, I'm using black, so it's a more black on the top, like this. If you want more white on the top to go around, you can use two white bands, and then this will be white. But I'm going to use black. So it depends on how you want your dog to look. So place your hook right through. I'm going to make sure my band is straight here. And then you can make a slip knot. 
and this is your Boston Terrier. So make sure yours looks like this. And now we take it off the limb slowly. And when we take it off, it's going to look like a big teddy bear. But I'm going to move the bands around and show you how to bring that snout out to look more like a Boston Terrier. And it's going to look super cute. this out, pull back the black bands on the side of the head, pull the ears up, and pull the snout out. I'm going to show you really fast, later, a little bit later on, how to maneuver the snout. Bring the body, stretch it out, stretch out the arms, stretch out the legs, the little dock tail. Now I'm going to make the head go like this. So I'm going to take that triple band, place my hook under, and just pull on the bands until it's more straight, just like that. Now I'm going to sew the body together, and after we sew it, then I'm going to show you how to make the paws better and and make the head more look like a Boston. So I'm going to use black, single black. There is stitches right here, these white stitches. I'm going to place my hook right underneath it so it looks like that. Place the black on the hook, bring it under, make a slip knot. Just like that. Now I'm going to go to the black section, get the next row of stitches. Just like that. Pull the, X, the uh, end of the band through. Then we're going to go to the next row of stitches. Same with this one, pull it taut. And then we're going to go, if you want to tie your knot right here, you can do it here, or you can go the next row of stitches also. Okay, so now you can use a scissor to cut this. So you're going to have this excess band. You can put a C clip on it and then hide it within the body. Or what I like to do is just snip the end. Then I'm going to find another band inside this and tuck one side of the band, one band, underneath to secure it. Oh, let me find that band. So I'm just I'm holding one right now. Then I have the other side right here, and I'm just going to find just a single band that's inside the body, put it underneath so it's secure, so it looks like that, and then I'm just going to tie a double knot. And then I can snip the excess. And now the body is closed. Stretch it out. Bring down the legs. Now, to make the paws, I separate the black bands to look like claws, like that. And then, just a simple little tug on the bottom will 
bring that band up. Like that. And now that's straight, so it's a little paw. Now, instead of just a ball on the bottom, it's a paw with the claw. So I'm going to do that again here. Separate that out. And then tug at the bottom. So it's flat. And then we got a little paw right here. So now the back ones is on the side. So we can separate these two. And then tug on the bottom. And you got a little paw on the back. Same over here. Separate the claws. Tuck on the bottom. It's flat. So the back, it goes to the side a little bit, so you just move the bands so it goes in the front. Easy peasy. Okay, so now let's work on the ears. Well, first I want to tie, I want to sew this in the back. I'm just going to tuck it in the back. I like to sew it, and you can make the head more rounded, too. Just any of the black bands in the back. Or you just tuck it in the back, in the black bands, hide it. So that makes it more rounded, the back of the head. Now, if your ears are lopsided and all weird, you the two bands on the top, we're going to put them to the side. Because remember we did the two bands? We're going to put these to the side. And then the, we're going to put this guy to the side too. The top two little bands, I'm just going to move them in the front to make a little point. And then I have one beautiful ear here. This one I'm going to do again. Pull it to the side. Those two bands. Here's the other one. And then I'm going to just take the two top two and bring it in the middle. A little point. Now, if you like your ears like this, you can keep it like that. If you want, if your ears are droopy or anything like that, pull it out. And you're going to see the ear attached to this band. Hold it and just pull it to the back of the head. And that's going to make the ear more upright. I'm going to do the same thing here. Pull it out. And here's the front of the head. Tug it a little bit in the back. And it'll make it more upright. Pull the bands around, maneuver them however you'd like to shape that head. Now, if you like your muzzle like this, you can keep it like that, or I like to bring it out a little bit. So remember we had the hook through these bands over here when we made it? We're going to do that again. Place your hook through, it's going to be four bands. right through those four bands and however you want if you want it out a lot you can tug on those four bands and it's going to bring it out more so what i'm going to do is hold it tug lightly tug and then i'm going to take it out and now i have it more pronounced the little jowls are more pronounced, and it comes out more, and the nose is more button shape. And you can maneuver the ears to be more up. And if you use beads, move the beads around. See, the bands, they kind of mesh a little bit, but it's still really cute. And that is your Boston Terrier. So I really, really hope you like this tutorial. I wanted to be give a big thank you to my Instagram followers for helping me out with the colors. 
please follow me on Instagram. It's so much fun there. And please subscribe. Okay, see you soon. Bye. I'm going to place that right there. Then you need, I'm going to make white in the front of the dog and then black body. So you need a double white going from this pin to this pin. Then another double white for the shoulders. Oops. And then we're going to do another double white. Just like that. And here also. So this is a triple and then these are all doubles. Now we're going to work on the black part of the body. And we're going to go in the middle. Go three stitches down. So these are doubles also. So one, two, and three. Okay, now we're going to work on this side of the body, which are also black, doubles, and then we're going to connect this pin to this pin, and we're working on the left side of the body now. Okay, so that's the body. Now we're going to work on the legs. And I have white in the front and with black little claws I put. You can put white if you want or whatever color you want for this. But I like, I think the black looks really cute. And then I actually have it like, like a paw so it can stand. So it's going to be a couple stitches long. So one, two, three, four stitches long. So take a black, wrap it around the hook four times. So one, two, three, four. Then take a double white, and this is like your little paw. Place the black in the middle, place the white back on the hook. Then you take another double white. So that's two stitches. Okay, then another double for three stitches. And finally the fourth, which is a double white. Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Boston Terrier on the Rainbow Loom. Here is a side profile of him with his snout coming out and his beautiful big ears. And I use beads, the e-beads for these eyes. I really like how the beads show because they're shiny compared to the bands. And I added a tail to this one, but I know the species, the breed has a docked tail. So I made another one with a docked tail. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make the tail if you want to add a tail and the docked tail if you want to keep it docked. Also in this one, I use bands for the eyes, and you can see the eyes kind of mesh with the black on the outside, so I highly recommend using beads, but if you don't use have beads, you can use the, um, the bands. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use the bands. So two different ways, and they both came out super cute, and we can get started. You need a single loom, you need black and white. And they also come in a caramel color or brown, so you can substitute black for the brown. And we're going to start with the head first. Okay, we're going to be using double bands. So first we'll do a double white from this pin to this pin. And then another double white. This is the middle of the head. And now we're going to go black on the sides. So double black. And we're doing three stitches of black. Okay, so that's one side. And then we're going to go on the other side. One, two, 
and three. If you hear the chirping, that's lovely, the lovebird. I'm so sorry, he's singing today. So, um, now we're gonna go another white, double white. And then we're gonna do a white connecting these pins. So, double white and double white. Okay, now we're working on the neck and you need a triple white band. So three. Okay, so that's one leg and we're gonna place it right here on that pin. Okay, let's make another one. So black again. One, two, three, four. Then four of these double whites connected. So you place the black on there. Okay, number two. three, and four. Okay, we're going to place that right here. Bring that to the side, and now the hind legs. So that looks even. We're going to do black for this, for the whole back of the hind legs, or you can do whatever color you like, but it's going to look like this one. So, little claws, one, two, three, and four. And this is going to be three double stitches. So here's one. Two. And three. Now the hind legs, I make them a little different. I make them thicker. So I'm going to take a triple band, so three, place it on the hook, place that, keep it like that, keep it in the middle like that, and then place it on your loom. So one, two. We're going to place one side on this pin and the other one on this pin. So it makes a little thigh area. Now we'll go to the next leg. One, two, three, four. Take a double. It's in the middle. Put it back on the hook. Another double. Another double. And then we get to the triple now. So three bands. And then place it on these two pins. It's going to go up and over this one and connect back here. I like the other, the little figure eight eye a little bit better because it stays more together like a ball. Sometimes these, the wrap bands kind of stretch out a little bit and you just have to fix it. So now we're gonna, I made a new technique to make the muzzle of this dog. And I really like how it came out and it makes it come out a little bit more further for a 3D effect. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. This one's a little thicker than this one and I like the thicker bands, the thicker, um, muzzle better than the thinner one. So I'll show you that right now. You will need a single black for the nose. So one, wrapped four times around. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go slower for this step because it's a different technique that I thought of. You're going to need five bands of white. Okay. So here's your five, and we're going to place it on the hook. Make sure it's flat on your finger and not um, bumpy or anything. And then you're going to place your nose 
right in the middle of those bands. Okay, you can take it off the hook. Place it right in the middle so it looks like a little bow. Now, what I want to do is take the top band, here's my top band, pay close attention, make sure you have that single band, you're not touching like one band over here and it's going to all fall apart, it's just that one top band. We're going to place that on this pin and this pin. So, place it just like that. Okay, so it looks like that. So it's one, two, the second pin. Now we're going to take another white band. And the reason why I want this to be straight and all the same and not mangled up, I'm going to place my hook right through these bands. Make sure you get all of them. So I have one, and then I'm going to... bring it over. Now the tail. These uh, breed is docked, so I just did a simple capping band for this one. But if you want to add a tail, it's very simple. I'm going to show you how to make the tail right now and you use it as a capping band. If you want to, you know, just watch the video. It's only going to take a couple seconds or you can just fast forward until the other, the docked tail. But I'm not going to make a tail on this one. I'm going to use a docked one. But if you want to make a tail, it is one single, wrap three times around, and it's going to be one, two, three, four stitches long of doubles. So here's one, two, three, and number four. So I think that would be a cute little tail if you wanted one. It's the same as that. And then you place it right here as your capping band. Okay, but I'm going to do the docked one right now. And you just take a double and you put it on this, wrap it twice around. So here's one, twist, and two. Okay, so one, twist, and two. That's two times around. Now we're going to have fun with the eyes. As before, the eyes, I like the beads. You can use e-beads or little mini beads for the eyes. I'm going to use the bands right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a double, wrap it around. Wait, no, just a single, sorry. I need two for the eyes. So a single, wrap it around four times. So one, two, three, and four. That's one eye. Another way to make the eye, you can do another eye like that, or you can do a little twist like a figure eight, then grab that and wrap that around. That's the same thing as this. So then you take a black band and then place the eyes on the black band. Just like that. And then we're going to place these eyes on these two pins. And